A few weeks ago I tweeted out that if I ever make a rise and fall video, you guys know that I'm truly desperate for views. Hi, I'm Dan Tavius, and this is the rise and fall of the Annoying Orange. So hey, this is my YouTube channel. Yay! Have you subscribed yet? You haven't? You should! Press the yellow button! It's right there! It says subscribe on it? The Annoying Orange, or as he's known in Spanish, La Naranja Insoportable, is a YouTube web series which was created in 2009 that became massively popular back in the day. In fact, it was so popular that it was one of the most viewed channels on YouTube and it even spawned its own cartoon network show and multiple video games. But chances are you forgot about The Annoying Orange just like you forgot about Dre. Well, in this video, we're gonna do a deep dive on The Annoying Orange saga, from its meteoric rise to whatever the opposite of that is. If you were on the internet in the early 2010s, you're probably familiar with The Annoying Orange, whether you wanted to be or not. I was first introduced to The Annoying Orange in 10th grade when the high school bully told me that I remind him of The Annoying Orange. I didn't know what to think of it since I never heard of it, so I decided to look it up and when I did, let me tell you, I was pissed. I was so pissed that I called his home insurance company pretending to be his dad and canceled their policy. Then I burned his house down. It's what you get when you fuck with me. Cooper. Yeah, that's right. I did it. I hope you're watching this right now and regret calling me the annoying orange, you schmuck. <clears throat> Moving on. As I was saying earlier, the annoying orange is an animated live action YouTube series starring, you guessed it, an annoying orange. I've got the dudes that'll make you hoot! <laughs> oh, that was a 7.8 on the sphincter scale. It was created in 2009 by Dane. How the fuck do you pronounce it? Bodig? Boating, Boatingheimer, whatever. Let's call him Dane Bo. Dane was a very early adopter of YouTube, creating his channel in March of 2006, only three months after YouTube was created. His first videos, like every video that time, were shit. Hey kid, it's me, Yanni. Hey kid, sweet melodies and salutations. Are you ready for another inspiring show with me, your host? Yanni! Yay! So stupid, bro. Yanni sounds nothing like that. Here's a clip of Yanni talking so you can see what he actually sounds like. Hey, it's me, Yanni, the fucking Greek piano guy. How you doing? But it wouldn't take long before he adopted his signature style of superimposing his face onto food. A few months after his very first video, he released a video called Screaming Eggs. Hey, watch the shell. I don't even understand. What's that? What's that? What's that thing? What's she doing? What's she doing? Mm, okay. What? Ah! Now, he probably had no idea at the time that this video would permanently leave its mark on internet culture forever. Like, think about it. This video is directly responsible for the movies Food Fight and Sausage Party. And if you ask me, Dane deserved to be in prison for that reason alone. Now, Dane continued to make videos for years and he was gradually picking up steam. But then three years and 78 videos later, he did it. The bastard finally did it. He got his big break. Hey Apple. Hey. Apple. Hey Apple. Hey Apple. Apple. Hey. Man, let me tell you, this video went so stupidly, amongusly viral back in the day. You probably had that shit on your MySpace profile, don't even lie. This video is currently sitting on 232 million views. And the interesting thing about it is the quality. Some of you might not remember, but most YouTube videos in 2010 were complete dog shit. Here's a video that I posted back in 2010. Come for me. On the day my daughter's wedding, and ask me for Fruit Loops. What's the matter with you? Now you may be thinking that this one was particularly shitty, but this is what most videos look like back then. Anyways, enough people liked Dane's video that he quickly followed it up with a sequel titled Annoying Orange 2, Plumpkin. Hey Plumpkin! It's Pumpkin. Hey! Hey Plumpkin! Now, Dane continued to post a variety of videos on his channel for a while, but as you can see, none of his videos were quite as popular as The Annoying Orange. So much so, that three months after the debut of The Annoying Orange, he would get his very own channel. Uh, so hey, this is my YouTube channel! Yay! It was at that point that Dane Bo was no longer Dane Bo. He gave up his old life and became The Annoying Orange. The Annoying Orange would quickly overtake its creator in popularity, and Dane would eventually abandon his original channel. And let me tell you, this was probably the best decision of his life, at least from a financial standpoint. After receiving his own channel, the big AO kept getting dubs followed by more dubs. In March of 2010, less than two months after the channel's inception, it was already the most viewed web series on YouTube with 
with 52 million views, which at the time was ridiculous. And by April, it had double that number. Then, in August of the same year, this schmuck orange hit 1 million subs. Within a year, it would be the 8th most subscribed to channel on all of YouTube. This was the point where our fruity friend started to go mainstream. He got his own mobile game called Kitchen Carnage, which was actually the first of three games. Surprisingly, this game is still available and you can download it today on the Apple App Store. And the reviews actually aren't bad, 4.6 out of 5 stars. Here's a review from a guy named Chicken Ball. I am insulted that this game was robbed of game of the year. I play this game 70 hours a week and I have unlocked everything there is to unlock. This game is my life. I can't wait until this is ported to every other system. If you haven't downloaded this game yet, it's gonna change your life forever. Whoa, change my life forever? Well, I can't pass up this opportunity, so let's check it out. Hey, you're an apple. Banana, you don't look like you're peeling very well. <laughs> Whoa, good shot. This game was probably a lot more impressive back in 2011. Anyways, the success didn't stop with video games, because in May of 2012, Cartoon Network would air a show titled The High Fructose Adventures of the Annoying Orange. At this point, the Annoying Orange was inescapable. You open YouTube, he's on the recommended page. You turn on your TV, there he is. You open the App Store, he's there. You go take a shit, the Annoying Orange is there. Now, the Cartoon Network show was critically panned, as is expected, but apparently it did well enough in the ratings to get a second season, which is more than I can say for most YouTubers who get their own shows. And best believe Dane got a bag for this show. Now, full disclosure, I had never seen this show. It was after my time, I think, but I did check out some clips while I was doing research for this video, and, uh, it's dumb. It's dumb shit. Lord, weapon systems are down! We can't outrun them! Maybe not, but we can do this! Na, 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 na. But hey, if you're like 4 years old and you're watching this and you never heard of the Annoying Orange, this is probably the funniest shit ever. After the Cartoon Network show ended, the success of the channel slowly began to decline as well. Dane milked, or should I say, juiced this character until it became stale. Like he went from being ironically annoying to just plain annoying. YouTube was no longer pushing the channel like it was before, and I think people generally were getting tired of the shtick. I mean, don't get me wrong, he was still getting a ton of views, but it wasn't like before, and every year the views began to dwindle more and more. And it makes sense, you can only put out so much content before people start to get sick of it, and it's a fucking talking orange. There's not a lot of variation or innovation that you can do with that concept. So if you ask me, the decline of this channel was inevitable. That brings us to the present day. Now, this may come as a surprise to a lot of you, but the Annoying Orange channel continues to post to this day, about three to four times a week actually. And the crazy thing is, this mother suck is still getting decent views. It got 32 million views this month alone, and that's an off month. So you can't say that the channel is dead by any means, but it's definitely on oxygen, because for a channel that has 10 million subs and was one of the biggest channels on YouTube, the numbers aren't great. I'm actually surprised he's getting the numbers he's getting today. Like, if you're watching the Annoying Orange in 2021, scientists need to study your brain or something, because that shit makes absolutely no sense. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of videos he's putting out these days. Pepperoni! Joe Pesci! Oh, come on! Mother yeah, so it's the exact same shit as 12 years ago, just with higher production value and more characters. Now, you're probably wondering how he's still pulling off the amount of views he's getting when you didn't even know this mother sucker was still around. Well, the answer is simple. It's... It's kids. I mean, the Annoying Orange has always been family friendly, like he never cursed or anything like that. But if you watch some of his newer stuff, it's obvious that it's marketed towards an even younger demographic than before. Before, it used to be pretty violent with fruit getting cut in half and screaming in agony, and there would be a lot of innuendos. But now it's much more tame. I would say his earlier work wasn't targeted towards a specific age group, it was kind of a thing anybody could laugh at. But now it's more geared towards kids under 10. And one more thing I think is keeping the channel live is those sweet sweet merch sales because if logan paul taught me anything it's that kids gotta buy that merch 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 all right let's see what we got here okay we got the orange plush toy okay this is an essential bro every fan of the annoying orange needs to have one of these 12.99 Seems a little bit pricey for just like a ball of cotton with some paint on it, but you know, I digress. Look here, what the hell? This is toilet paper? Oh, marshmallow. $9.99. This one's $3 less than all the other ones. 
Probably because it looks like toilet paper. Alright, that makes sense. What the fuck is this? Bro! What- what is this? That's racist. At the end of the day, the Annoying Orange has survived longer than most YouTubers, so you gotta give him that. And you really gotta give it up to Dane Bo. This man made a ridiculous amount of money doing what he loves, and he hasn't been involved in any scandals, which is more than I can say for most people on YouTube. So shout out to Dane Bo. I'm gonna drink some orange juice in your honor. I, I don't have any right now, but I'll, I'll go to the store later and I'll buy some orange juice and drink it in your honor. Man, look at this. My, f my fucking glasses broke, man. I feel like a freaking dweeb. And also, I had to redo this whole take a day later. So I hope this doesn't ruin the continuity. I don't even know if I should be telling you guys this. Because maybe no one would have even noticed, but there you go. Well guys, that was the rise and fall of the Annoying Orange. Uh, I, I didn't think I was ever going to make a rise and fall video, but I've noticed that they always get a shit ton of views. So, you know, let's see how it works out for me. Uh, thank you for watching. I just want to say, please go follow me on Twitter and TikTok and all other social media. Join the Discord because, you know, I got to branch out a little bit, you know. You never know when YouTube's just going to snap and fucking delete my channel because that's been happening to a lot of random people. But, yeah, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments as always. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Later.